we are going to see the climate conversation come to the region, and in particular come to the UAE at the end of the year. There's some critics out there who say a major fossil fuel producer shouldn't have a mandate to lead a climate conference. What's your view? I, well, first, I, I celebrate the fact that the COP27 was in Sharm el Sheikh and that, uh, that uh, the COP28 is in, uh, is in the Emirates. Uh, because if you want to speak about climate and the energy transition, which better place, right? Uh, you have to deal with a, a climate which has its own characteristics, rich in fossil fuel, but also uh, uh, this region has been historically a pioneer also in renewable energies. Remember in, in UAE uh, uh, doing Mazda or being one of the early participants to Mazda that was really uh, forward thinking. And what I see here ha happening in Saudi around renewable and energy transition is also very encouraging. So COP28 has to be the COP of inclusion of all stakeholders because it's not, uh, climate change is not a political uh, question. It is uh, a scientific fact on which we have to bring solutions on the fact that we, it's not only a political solution, everything has some political ramification, but the core here is to mobilize all the energies on, on all the capabilities to organize this energy transition. As I said before, fossil energy will be still with us in 30 years and they are part of the transition. On Many of those industries have the resources, financial, technical, project-wise, human resources, to build the projects leading to a carbon-free society. But also what technology, and we are a technology company, has a huge role to play to change a paradigm. If we keep going with a model as is, it doesn't work. Okay. We have to retrofit much faster our buildings, our plants, and everything. We have really uh, to put into place in the fast developing economies, in the new economies, buildings on infrastructure which are as close as possible to net zero, because otherwise anything which is not compliant will be polluting or emitting for the next coming years. And that comes when we work together and not work against each other. And it's not a or it's not that you have to choose between nuclear, renewable, and, and decarbonization of fossil, and energy efficiency, which is the most important. It's an end. It's by using all those tools and working together on it that we can. So I wish the COP28, and I know that uh, 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 Dr. Sultan Al Jaber has, has given that direction, uh, that it's, it's an inclusive COP, which is directed to pragmatic solutions. Because we need solutions, right? We don't need despair. We, have, we know what the stakes are. We know there are technologies. It's for us to work together to deploy them.